I've been here for approximately 15 years and the connection between our work and Samantha's need for a space seemed like a natural transition. I had been working from home, so I wanted my own studio space, so this seemed like a great opportunity. Well, because of the nature of what I do on the scale that I do, a large part of the studio is dedicated to the manufacturing of my art, and Samantha's needs are office-oriented and design-oriented, mm -hmm. so it's this space here that's mostly dedicated to Samantha. I definitely had the say in what happened in this newer space here. I wanted it to feel like it'd be a fun place to come to work. We have computers and we have all the things that we need in an office, but also I wanted it to be really cool. And it's a great place just to be sort of creative. When we're designing a home, I always already see one of Peter's works in this space. And it is a challenge to convince clients to take that leap and do something so creative and so out of the box. It obviously- Takes a commitment. It takes a commitment and they have to really trust you because it is something very different. It's not something that they can see beforehand, but every time they actually do go forward with it, I mean, it's just incredible, right? Constantly we're doing something together on different residential projects, even the commercial stuff for your show homes or your spaces like that. It's kind of fun. It's ridiculously fun in some cases. But you know, when you come to me with an idea, you have a clear vision of what you want and sometimes I'm, I'm a little obstinate or obtuse and I'll come up with samples and different concepts and a lot of times, you know, if she doesn't like it, I get very offended, you know, like, that's the only part that makes it difficult, I think, because I want approval from her all the time. <laughs> we definitely both have an idea of what something should look have, like. I have an ego, <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> and I have an opinion, so. Yeah. <laughs> when your career and your passion kind of just meld together, I mean, we're very, very lucky, right? There's not many people that absolutely love what they do. Like, we kind of live and breathe it. Yeah, don't tell anybody. <laughs> don't tell anybody that we, get, that, that, that we get paid to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I can say that the trades that we have here, especially in Toronto, are just unbelievable. Some of the top design firms. Some of the firms. top, um, not, not, not only design firms, but the trades themselves are furniture makers. We love to work with these people that are just so talented. My company has had the opportunity to work with interior designers and architects and developers from everywhere from New York to London, England, France, etc. And the experience is that they feel very confident in the skill set that Canadian craftsmen or or designer or artist would bring to the table. So it speaks volumes of what's happening in Canada, I think.